All right, so we need two on two, guys. Two on two. So some, I need someone out of bounds being defended. Quick. Someone out of bounds with the ball being defended. All right. Guard over here being defended. So you're going to make a sweep to get the ball. Just do that. All right. Now you're going to try and contain, you got to get in front of her and contain her. No, they're coming this way. You're going to run in there. All right. You're going to sprint. Stay there. You're going to sprint to the line of the ball. You're on defense. They're going this way. You're going to be the plugger or the gap sealer, whatever you want to call it. All right. You're just going to take one hard dribble. One hard dribble. Go. All right. Pick it up. Throw it to your mate. As that happens, you're going to close to the ball. You're going to close to the plugger spot. You're going to take one hard dribble. All right, throw it back. Again. All right, throw it back. Good, go. Good. Ball. Now, when I say ball, you're going to throw it to me. You're on offense. You're on offense. You're on defense. I'm going to throw it back. What now? First movement. She's not wrong, but she's incorrect. Okay? Good. Her first movement was, I need to get back. Not for this drill. Her first movement is, re-establish that, plug a spot here. Okay? Now, if she cuts, you might have to open your stance. But if, you, if I just run back here, that's one-on-one, -on -one and we know that's difficult. All right? And then we're playing from there. All right, let's show the whole thing. Let's go. Here we go. Get in. The ball in. Good. Square it off. Good. One. Good. Job. Ball. Ball. All right. Now, pretty simple. We don't have to go through that too often. Now, let's go four more. So just walk through it. Come on, guys, quick. One dribble. Good. Good. Now, ball. You guys get open. Ball. Get open. Ball. Ball. Get open. Contest it. Play. Good. Good contest. Good job. All right. But we got to box out. So now, all right, again, as you build it up, the first drill, everyone does that. It's just a little rehearsal on going from the ball to the help, ceiling gaps, plugger, whatever you want to call it. Add an element. This is where we need to get more drill out of the drill, more practice out of practice, where they have to throw it to me and change. Then throw it again. All right, so we've got... Tim, can you just move that ball for me, please, mate? Again, not that they're lazy and not that they're... You know, people say, oh, kids, their attention span. That, that's not true. That's just a cop-out by lazy coaches. All right, but their ability to absorb information is, is far better than ours at the same age just because they've got more ready access to information. So we've got to coach that way. It's got, there's got to be stimulus. There's got to be ongoing stimulus. So in your suite of drills, just add elements. So take one drill and turn it into five. You do it for the same amount of time. I think eight minutes is optimum in junior basketball to run a drill. That said, in that eight minutes, I want three or four elements. Now, it might be ten. What, whatever your block is, this is certainly not basketball according to but you know you, we've got to roll with the times not complain about what young people wh who, who is that all right if you run you young people is anyone under 60 but you know like who, who is that so we've got to make sure we've got the drills and that they're active they've still got value but they're multifaceted 
Now, this is what we're going to do. When I say ball, you're going to throw it to me. Then you're going to play. If I say ball, throw it to me. If I say change, throw the ball to me, then the team that was on defense is now on offense going that way. Start. Start. Here we go. Ball. Ball. Change. Wall up. Good. Good job. Now hold up. See the good job he did then? Same thing. Now I'm not I've never seen him play before. But when the guy got by him and he got him down into the charge halo, there was no jumping it, it was just wall up, what ended up happening? No foul, kicked out, contested jump shot, and go. All right? Let's go one more time. You you guys are up. Walk around, gang. Now, we're moving at warp speed here because I want to get the drills covered, but obviously there's detail. You know, as the ball comes in, that defender needs to sprint to the line of the ball. They need to show, point their pistols, all right? Point the ball and, and their man. They need to be communicating, all right? When I go from the ball, the pass is made, I fly with the ball and I sit in my stance, all right? Here we go. Now stop, 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 stop. Go back. Now, it's a clinic... But is that the fastest you can get to the line of the ball? It's not. Now, if I said to you that Coach Potter was going to give you $20 if you did it three times faster than that, do you reckon you'd get it done? Yep. All right. I hope he's got his wallet. Let's go. Get open. Get open. Get there. Get there. Good girl. Good. Ball. Ball. Change. Good. All right, and so you can build it from there. Now, the other thing that with, with teaching defense and teaching basketball in, in general is numerical advantage, disadvantage. You know, it's, that's the game. You know, people say, oh, basketball's five on five. Yeah, it is for about three or four possessions a game. First one, here, five on five, quarter time, half time, it's five on five. Yep, five, five, yep, we're laughing. But as soon as they start playing, screening, penetration, it's five on four, four on three, three on two, two on one. It's a series of numerical advantage, disadvantage. So in terms of developing decision-making on the offense, One of the most important elements in learning is success. So if you've got young players and you're struggling to them to buy into something or or get get a hold of a concept, take a defender away. Let them do it three on two. Let them do it two on one. Let them do it four on three. Because it gives them a heightened opportunity for success. Defensively, if they if three people can guard four people pretty effectively. It goes, to, it, it goes to say that when it's five on five, they're going to be pretty effective. So now, what we're going to do is this. I don't know why I'm looking at these. None of the last three drills haven't been in here. Um, so, same drill. What's going to happen? We're going to go ball, ball, change. Then, at that end, the shooter, you have to run and touch a wall out of bounds, and then get back. Go. Here we go. Get there, line of ball. Good. Good. Get off your man. Ball. Ball. Change. 
Change. Get out of bounds, go. Two on one, two on one, go. Wall up. Good. All right, so, and then we allow them to, to play a little bit. And you might do it three on three so it's a bit more game-like. Same setup. So let's get three on three. Now, it's taken a long time, but I'm finally pre practicing what I preach. I've finally been able to eliminate from my coaching vernacular, do you understand? Has everyone got it? Do we need to go over it again? Who uses those terms? Now, if you've got little ease, of course, you need to be more prescriptive. But how often have we shown young, motivated, intelligent athletes a very simple drill and then gone with the old condescending, everyone understand? All right. There's two reasons you don't want to do that. One, of course they understand. But secondly, and I'm sure you'd agree, because we teach that way, that's how they learn. They don't listen to the first instruction. Why? They know you're going to give them a second instruction. Right? So we're conditioning them, them to not be great learners and great listeners in a basketball setting. Because they know... The first one's almost going to be the preamble. Because then, does everyone understand? No, okay. And then we're going to, you know, do the, they know. We just went through it. And that's learning as well, because in a timeout, you don't have time to do it two or three times. So set up the drill, and you can, now, and it's taken a long time for me to, to do this, now, to stop myself saying, does everyone understand? I take a step back and say, go. It puts a line on it and forces them to listen. Because coaching's not just about the physical, it's about the mental, and can they put those things into place? Again, little easy, you might have to be prescriptive, but basically we repeat ourselves in everything we do in coaching. Think about how often you repeat yourself. And think about if you could eliminate that and replace it by teaching, how good that would be. Think about if Brian Taylor didn't uh, repeat himself in every sentence he does when he commentates. How much better would that be? It's the same with coaching. All right? Try and eliminate that. Let's go three on three. Same drill. Now, so, someone come up here. Now, where, who's on D? Yep, so where would you be? All right, so you're going to sweep. It's the same rules. Same rules as we just two on two. Go. Good. Good. Line of ball, good. One drill, move it. Ball. 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 Change. Good, good girl. All right, hold up. That's pretty good. But it's a secret. It's pretty good, really good, but it's a secret. Don't tell anyone. These kids are unbelievable at keeping secrets. All right? At the end of it, I'm going to give you my PIN number and I'm going to feel completely fine. Why? They don't talk. So they're playing three on three and it's a situation where it's, they've got to go from offense to defense, there's numerical advantage, disadvantage, and not one person said a word. Why? They're waiting for me to prescribe what to say. Now, some people will say, well... You didn't tell them what to say. That's true. I have coaches tell me, well, you've got to tell them what to say. Really? If you tell them what to say, fine. Again, little is, you need to be prescriptive. 
But if you tell them what to say, now, that's synthetic, it's not organic. That's not, that's not talk, that's just verbiage. Who's seen this one? Ball, 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 ball. All right, man. All right, what does that mean? So I close out, ball, they heard you, all right? Then these people have to be, give clear instruction of what they want to do and then you build it from there. But let's go again, same people. Now, you need to communicate effectively. Play. Change, change. Good. Hand, play without fouls. Box, shooters off, shooters out of bounds, shooters out of bounds. All right, now, it's challenging because, of course, his natural instinct's not to run out of bounds. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right? What it does, it's designed to heighten communication. So as he's running out of bounds, he's communicating. I'm gone, I'm gone, get seven. So he's got to let his teammates know that he's out of bounds. Now the two that are left are in a numerical disadvantage. They've got to make sure that they know what they're doing. Andrew, go to the ball, I've got help. You've got to be able to communicate. Again, that's why I said, all right, guys, you've got to talk. No, you've got to communicate effectively. Now, you might prescribe that, particularly early, but if you continue to prescribe what they say when they say it, it it's not effective communication. It's just sounds. All right, let's go one more time. You've got to figure it out. Go different people if you like. Quick, gang, come on, sleep at night. Let's go. Play. Play. It's a line of ball. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What's your issue? Yeah, yeah, they're going, it's hard because we're going different, but yeah, remember they're defending this way. All right, go again. And again with that, Don't tell him, ask him. Use questioning. All right, let, let him think. Rather than, stop, stop, you've got to turn. It doesn't do it any good. Now, I'm not here advocating anarchy. doesn't mean you don't give him a tear through. You can get into them. But let them think first. Let them problem solve first. All right? So if you want to get, in, if you want to get into them and you, you want to make them accountable, fine. Instead of that, say, what's your problem? Then he tells me, fine, so we've, prob we've fixed that. Now, if I want to deliver a message, all you now wake up, and then you move on. Rather than, hey, stop, what are you doing? That's not use of questioning. That's the ultimate rhetorical question, all right? And we're not, we're not uh, engaging him in learning. All right, here we go. Line the ball. Good. Line the ball. Don't deny it back. Line the ball. Ball! 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 Change! Change! Good. Get there. Box! You're out of bounds. You're out of bounds. Go! Go! Close out. Box out. All right, pretty good. Now you can build it to four on four, whatever you do. But who's the most important person to speak, to talk in that on the way back? The person out of bounds. One, got to let them know that you're out of play. Right? And that might be 
you know, you've gone, whatever, whatever's happened. You might have dived for a loose ball and thrown it back in. You've got to let them know that you're out of the play. Then when you turn and run, what does that person see? Everything. So even though you're out of the play, you can see the play, you can see things unfold. John, go to the ball. Stay, stay, shooter, shooter. And then they can sprint here or whatever it might be. But getting him into the numerical advantage, disadvantage, is going to be good for, one, their decision-making, but also their effective communication because they've got a problem-solving. And defensive communication is about problem-solving. It's not about verbiage. It's not about noise. You know, you've all, you've all played against those teams that come out and rah, 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 huff, puff, blow, you know, blow your house down. What do you think as a coach? Oh, this is going to last two minutes and I'm going to kick their ass. All right? Because it, it doesn't mean anything. If you can set them up where they can develop those problem-solving communication skills, now we've got a chance. 